with a heavyweight rookie class just over Connor Coffin that year. Owen Wright also accomplished that rookie of the year award in his first strike back in 2010. Had a lot of some big turns. You could see Owen, like, he was looking for the tube there, but decided to go around it. Smart move from him because this is going to just give him that extra bit of confidence. But the flow, this is what makes Owen look so good. Six foot four, and uh, he is absolutely smooth. This is what took him being rushed. It was. It's been rushed. It was. Time happening to Zeke in the first heat of the morning. Yeah, well, here we go. Brand new year. Some nervous moments uh, for all competitors. Two hitting the lineup now, and it's a good one. On paper, it looks fantastic. Owen Wright up against Connor Coffin. This will be a good score, so we won't have a restart. 19 minutes remaining now, and Connor about to drop a good score. And a good strategy as well. You know, again, his surfing here on this wasn't super dynamic, but a set wave, clean all the way through, good flow. This isn't going to wave. Wave. He's going to take to the air here. He's only got that one section. Nice big front side there. Tour and another big round here at North Point to kick things off. You guys got to watch it all go down last season. It was inconsistent. We had a few twos and threes. This judges saying they want to see you drive behind this section and puts himself nice and deep. I don't think he could have got any deeper on that wave though. You can see where he is. He's five or six foot behind the curtain, which generally means you're riding up on that foam ball, which is very difficult to do, and then manages to. That's where. That's what Terry Mason, Ian Gobert at North Point right after this. Felipe Toledo is definitely the one to beat out here. Um, you know, we've been sort of keeping an eye on this way. We're sort of staying further down the beach, and he's been one of the only guys really over the last few days to control over the lineup. Absolutely. Uh, let's have a look at Felipe Toledo's opening wave here. Beautiful jam into the into the lip, and again that. Let me know. Call me on my cell, all right? Late. Next message. Yeah, what up, Steph? Call me up. I'm gonna be in town all this week. The scoring potential on the. The scoring potential on the bar today. It looked like Cano had intent. You know, mm. you saw him coiling up. Supposedly, Potts, we've been hearing there's been some battles in the free surfs the last couple of days. These heats start well before he grabs the rail and just really uses part of his body to slow himself down and get as deep as possible. Great positioning there from Italo Ferreira, who's been on an absolute tear this year. That backhand has, has really served him well. Finishing this one off all the way through the inside, so Italo Ferreira off. Call me on my cell, all right? Late. Next message. Yeah, what up, Steph? Call me up. I'm going to be in town all this week, so, uh, Mike, what's up? This is Ron. What's happening? Uh, just... If you look at the colorway on the, the boardies he wore during that win, looks pretty similar to me, so. It's a, it definitely seems to be something that has happened to a lot of the, a lot of the competitors. You watch this wave, you, you have... Offered up a nice little ball, so he kind of redirected. He went back towards the impact zone and swung his board underneath it, which gave him an actual momentum swing coming into the barrel, which built his speed. And so when you do something like that, you actually create um, a, almost a point of difference in tube styles because we've seen a lot of guys drop in. So uh, if you want to get that track taken care of, let me know. Call me on my cell, all right? Late. Mike, what's up? This is Ron. What's happening? Uh, I'm moving through to the inside. Bangs that oncoming section. Wow. Hitting the light of now, one's a former world champ, the first ever world champ for Brazil, Gabriel Medina. He takes on Tom with the smaller conditions, Joe. You know, sometimes those players will really straighten up on the reef and really hard to get around the section. Gabriel Medina, though, no problem for him. A couple of beautiful maneuvers. As it goes down through that inside section, you start seeing the lump and bump start starting to come into play. And are really hard to set the rail and, and make those turns look nice and clean and flowing. Great effort there, nice backhand, too small, but.
opening ceremony is so special for the whole tour to get up and dance on stage and uh, to sing songs with the local Tahitians and just really be welcomed to this special. A good wave, and this is the wave right behind it. So Zeke went the first one. It got a little, you know, it was a bit frumpy, wasn't it? The one where he pulled into the tube. But this one, you could see how shallow and steep it was. Geordie getting a barrel on it. the Hawaiian as he moves on into round three. The Tahiti Pro Chope will continue. Our favorite sound first thing in the morning. We are on all South African matchup. Could have had a better wave and missed a great opportunity there. Let's see what happened on this first section. Little pump at the takeoff. Nice critical first turn. This second turn is a race is a bit horizontal. You can see there's there's no vertical nature, no change. Hey. Total challenging heat, but got priority at the rock time and capitalized.